What's up guys, Sparky Izzy here and today I'm going to go over 15 tools that will help you succeed as an apprentice electrician. Okay guys, so you click this video because you want to see the top 15 tools for an apprentice electrician. These tools are aimed for people that are green in the trade that are barely starting or thinking about getting into the trade and just curious on what tools that you need. If you show up to a job site with these tools, it should get you through the day just fine. All tools shown in this video will be linked down in the description. Let's get started. First we got a tape measure. This one specifically is a Milwaukee tape measure. It's magnetic and it's 25 feet, that should be plenty. You will be using this for a number of things, whether it's mounting some boxes and getting heights or measurements off the wall, or bending conduit and commercial. This is definitely a needed tool and something that you need to practice reading because measuring is gonna be used every day in the field. Next, we have a non-contact voltage tester made by Fluke, also called a pen tester. And this tool is just for when you get started. Eventually, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a multimeter. I prefer Fluke brand. That's the brand that I trust in the field. But this is solely just to check if something is hot. You never wanna use this as an actual meter. You'll be using a multimeter to check voltage and then use this pen tester just to make sure that something is off. The cool thing about this is it's non-contact, which means you can hold it up against a wire and if it's hot, it'll beep. Next, we have a key hole saw. This hole saw is gonna be used to cut sheetrock. If your journeyman has you cut a box open or cut out a hole for a light, you're gonna be using a key hole saw. This is just a manual tool and it's just to hold you off for when you get power tools. For the next three, we got screwdrivers. When I say screwdrivers, I mean a big flathead, a thin flathead, and a, and a Phillips number two screwdriver. We use screwdrivers all the time to open up boxes, to install trim plates, to install receptacles. You are always gonna wanna have screwdrivers in your set of tools. It's definitely a necessity. Next, we have a pair of tongue and groove pliers. When I say pair, I do mean two of them. You're gonna need two of them. We also call them in the field channel locks. Channel locks is the brand. So between these two brands, there is a big difference. The Knipex, they actually have a button that will lock the jaw open, which that's a game changer. Um, I found out about this brand somewhat recently, but I'm used to the channel lock brand. That's what I started off with, the blue handles. And the channel locks, those specifically are the 440s. I like those because you can use them from half inch all the way up to two inch conduit. You might not know what those sizes are, but you will eventually know what those sizes are. But just know that they can go up to two inch. So here I'm showing you an example of why you would need two. This is called a compression coupling for EMT conduit. You might not know what that means, but just know that you're gonna need two so that you can tighten the coupling on both sides. Next, we have a level. This level specifically is made by Klein, and I highly recommend you get one with a strong magnet. Specifically, it'll say rare earth magnet, and you definitely want a strong magnet for when you're installing conduit on a wall, you're installing stuff in, in the air, you're trying to level a box. You, don't, you do not want that level falling on the ground, potentially hitting someone in the head. You know, that's why in this trade, you if you're working new construction or pretty much when you're working on any job site, you're gonna wanna be wearing a hard hat just to make sure that you don't get hit in the head. You know, you can cut your head open, um, but you definitely want a level that has a strong magnet. It'll just, it's a lot better than just having a cheap magnet that's gonna keep falling. It's gonna get so annoying. Next, we have the most important tool as an electrician, which are linesman pliers. I have two of them that are made by Klein, one of them made by Knipex. The red and blue ones are made by Knipex. These ones are smooth, they cut like butter. I actually do like the way they cut more than the Klein ones, but that's just a personal opinion. Then we have these gray and black Klein ones. These are hybrid pliers because the, the head of them is like linesman pliers, but it also has strippers built in, so they call them hybrids. These are regular Klein linesman pliers. You're gonna be using linesman pliers for literally everything, twisting wire nuts. We use them all the time as a hammer. And in the trade, even though whatever brand you have, someone might refer to them as Kleins, like, hey, give me those Kleins. And what they mean by that is the linesman pliers. So, so you're definitely gonna wanna have those in your tool bag. 
Next, we have wire strippers. Now, wire strippers, this is personal preference. I like these little small ones. It's easier for me to strip wires. So I believe these strip from as big as number 10 gauge all the way um, as small as number 18 gauge. And they make some that have different features. Some of them have crimpers. Um, the other ones, they have attachment little holes to make loops on them for receptacles and some of them you can even put some screws you can thread some screws into them cut some screws um some 832s and 632s so if you want to try those you know give those a go next we got some side cutters also known in the field as dykes these are going to be used just to cut wire tie wire um, zip ties we use them to cut a lot of things and by now you probably have seen a pattern with all these tools. A lot of them are Klein tools. Those are just like the OG, you know, I remember when I first started in the trade, they told me these are the Cadillac of tools. Klein is known for their electrical tools, but there's definitely newer brands out there. Racketeers, Ideal, there's Southwire. There's a bunch of different brands that you can pick, but you know, I have a lot of client tools, hand tools specifically. All right, next we have needle nose pliers made by Klein. These needle nose pliers are going to be good for getting into those tight spots. Um, I personally use them to knock out some holes in boxes. I use them kind of like a, as a hammer and to, to reach in there and really get that knockout and twist it. Next, we have a stud finder. This stud finder is going to be used to find wooden studs behind a wall. The cool thing about this is this does not require batteries. It actually uses a rare earth magnet. I've used the battery operated stud finders and this one tends to be more accurate than the other one. I'm not sure why, but finding the drywall screw is a lot easier than finding the stud itself. Sometimes the battery operated ones give false readings and I've had good luck with this one. All right, next we have non-conductive pliers. Uh, this brand is Volt Claw. So if you're experienced and you're watching this video, you probably have never seen this tool before, but it's a highly underrated tool. So this is used to push wires into a box, to pull wires out of a box, or to twist wires. If you're experienced and you ever work on hot wires, this is a great tool to make sure that you can maneuver the wire around boxes or junction boxes and to not nick a wire. Cause we all know that if you can, if you nick that wire onto a metal box, that thing's gonna spark in front of your face and you do not want that. I use this all the time. I never thought I would, but I use it all the time and it's better than having to reach into a hot box and try to push some wires in when you could just use this non-conductive tool. All right, and last but not least, we have tool pouches. So this brown one that I'm showing you is made by Vito Pro Pack. It's a Vito MP1. And what's cool about it is whatever belt you're wearing on your pants, you can clip this right up against it, or you can fit the bigger part of it into your back pocket. Um, another thing I'm showing you right here is a Racketeers snap sack. So the cool thing is it has clips that will clip onto your belt on your left and right side of your pants. And you can fit stuff like tools, you can fit screws, wire nuts, whatever you wanna put in the front pockets. and it just avoids you having to put things in your back pocket and keeps everything in the front and then you can wear the veto or whatever tool bag you decide to get on your right or left side with your tape measure the electrical tape um, hook that it comes with you'll be all set up for first day on the job or first year as an apprentice all right i lied there's actually a 16 tool i just thought of it right now but it's something that you should definitely look into it is a Klein 7-in-1 nut driver. You could buy each nut driver, but this 7-in-1 is good for new apprentices that just need all the sizes in one tool. And even as a journey level electrician, I use this 7-in-1 all the time. I don't have a video of it, but I'll pop it on the screen just so you can see what it looks like. And again, all tools will be down in the description below. All right, guys, that concludes the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to see more tools, I've been thinking about doing a what's in my Milwaukee pack out. If you're interested, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see it. If you want to see what I do on a daily basis, you can follow my TikTok and Instagram at, at Sparky underscore Izzy. That will be in my link tree in the description below as well. But that's it, guys. Sparky Izzy. Peace.